Hello everyone. Um, well, E3 just happened, and one of the things they announced and then immediately released a demo for was Resident Evil 7. So I have downloaded the demo, and I thought I'd play through it for the first time on Twitch. So this is the very beginning. I literally just started it up. And uh, they've, they've already said that this is not something that will be in the game, that this is more to... Uh, kind of show the tone and direction of the game. See, so yeah, I haven't played this yet. I literally just installed it, so I thought it would be fun to kind of take my first trip through the game on Twitch. Uh, create save data, sure. I don't even know how long this is, so I don't know if I'm going to get through the whole thing here. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn on subtitles. Everything looks good. Alright, so get out of the house. So we have an objective. So a lot of people have been comparing this to PT, which is not surprising at all. And I've heard a few uh, people talk about it, like playing it at E3, so I know there is something with this fireplace here. That's the extent of my knowledge of this game. Oh, okay. I guess that's what I just did. Fuse. Alright, so that was the only secret that I really knew about. Not sure I want to go down there and just yet. Yeah. Let's uh, finish kind of looking around the room. Okay, so we got a fuse box here, and I just picked up a fuse, so... Uh, so I got a glare on my screen. Alright, stairs. First floor, second floor. Okay. Wait. Oh, okay, I thought these wor weren't in the right order for a second. Okay, I don't know if you're hearing that, but uh, I'm hearing some footsteps. I don't think there are any monsters or creatures in this game, from what I've heard. Or demo. Shouldn't even call it a game, really. I just know the point is to escape. Dummy finger. Alright, so I can check my inventory. And I guess you can assign items to this, but... So yeah, they, they said that this will not be in the game, but it is reflective of the kind of gameplay and tone that they're going for. Uh, I know it takes place in the south. And uh, kind of inspiration for that would be things like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie and stuff like that. So, Which I definitely get that feeling, just from this little bit. Ooh, creepy. I mean, it's definitely a very different and interesting take. Alright, so that's change shot. Uh, probably need a key. I mean, just the fact that they're doing first person at all. Ooh. What is that? Halves of animals? Gross. Okay, bolt cutters. You need a key to get out. Doesn't seem like I can run. Oh, okay, I can run. Try the bolt cutters. Alright. Yeah, 
God, to me, running always, like, ruins horror games. Because I feel like it allows you to just totally miss stuff. Alright, so that one's locked. Alright, so now I got a tape. Let's give it a shot. Nope. That's weird. So it's like two item slots, so... You actually move each individual one. This looks like the same thing they showed at the beginning of the game. Am I just... Haunted House Rehearsal? I heard there was a lot of, like, kind of cheap jumps. Oh, I'm actually controlling the cameraman. Make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. This new guy? I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. Oh, I'm just talking about me right here. New plan. Like I'm not even here. We do a walkthrough of the inside first. Then we shoot the intro. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators. Another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? Ecstatic. I like that I'm actually controlling the cameraman. Like, you put in the tape and you're not just watching something. That's pretty interesting. I've never seen a game do that before. Are we rolling? Alright, let's go. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to adjust my microphone. I don't know if you can hear that. Get out of the way. <clears throat> it's locked. <clears throat> after you. I thought you said after me. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? There was a game released on like the PlayStation 2 I was an anchor, you know? where you were uh, you played as like the cameraman for like a news team or something. It's kind of reminds me of that. What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. How long did you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not Hillbillies, the Bakers. <sighs> Jack and Margaret Yum. Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! I know I should have worn my good shoes. There's a small keyhole, so I can still, like, oh, yeah. check out the house even during this. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? Oh, did he disappear? Andre! Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? Where is he? Unfucking believable This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but... Uh, a good cameraman like you, Clancy? Oh, no, I'm a good you cameraman? Or is he talking about the other guy? What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? There should be more games that kind of fuck with the uh, found footage thing. Andre! Like Outlast is one that does it, but the fuck is he? I don't know. I wish I saw it more. This is actually like super interesting. Andre, where are you, man? Hmm, no VCR on the TV currently. the hell? So this is normally how you would find out about the uh, fireplace thing. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, new deal. But I'd already heard about somebody talk about it on a podcast. So. Fuck this show. I 
I just hope if this does have anything to do with the actual game that uh, Resident Evil doesn't go like supernatural. I'm waiting for like a cheap jump scare. Oh, that's real Blair Witchy. Hmm. That's not very pleasant. That at least seemed like a person, so. Not ghosts. Alright. Um. So I guess that means I'm probably supposed to go down there, but. I feel like I should check out the upstairs first. Hey, mannequins. to say goodbye eventually. Hmm. But will you be ready? This feels way more like Silent Hill than Resident Evil, which I'm totally fine with. Cause to me, the horror, like, while Resident Evil are the better games, the horror of Silent Hill is better. Are you watching us from that helicopter? Oh, well, is that an umbrella logo? Sure looks like it. Welcome to the family, son. Oh, boy. That's no good. Bill. That sounded like a zombie. Behind you, dude. Making zombie like noises, but not acting like one. Yeah, what is going on? Is that it? Huh. That was it. Alright. It was really interesting. Very unlike Resident Evil, but uh. Still don't know what to think. So is that. That just leads me right back to the beginning. Yep. <laughs> hey, well. I guess that's it, so. Thanks for watching as I take a look at this Resident Evil. It feels very much trying to capture what PT did, but, uh. PT, you know, that as a teaser, that's better. But, I'll be. I'm super interested to see what this game turns out to be. But, uh. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Oh, wait, I didn't see this before. I shall dash them against the stones. Alright. Yeah, so that's the Resident Evil 7 demo. Be sure to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And uh, gonna be looking at some more games here soon. So, thanks for watching.